Hi, my name is Newell Davis with World Composting, and today we're going to do an update of the Vermibag Max. Now, this is a large system, and it's been checked about, you know, a little less than a month ago that we did a, a food update and everything. This time, we're probably going to need to add food again, maybe some new bedding material, and also I have a special thing that I want to add to this bin, but it depends on how it's looking. So we're going to see. If there's a fruit fly issue, I've got something new, and we'll see how it's looking and what I'm going to add to it to try to get rid of those fruit flies. So let's take a look at the bag. All right, so here we go. Let's open it up and take a look and see how this is doing and see if we have any fruit flies in here. Oh, we have quite a few here that are flying out. So I think it's time to take care of this fruit fly issue once and for all. I've just seemed to consistently have it in here. So at the end of this, we're going to add something new to this bin and try to get rid of those fruit flies because they're really starting to, to drive me nuts whenever I open this bin. And it's kind of dry on top here. Let's just dig down a little bit here. Oh, we already have some worms down here. So nice healthy worms. So you can see, a little bit dry though. So let's move this stuff out of the way. I've already got a bunch of fruit flies around my face. Let's just see here. Nice material. No food so far. There are some worms down in here. Let's just see here if we see any worms. Just Throw this on top of the other material we've got. We'll bury all this stuff in here. That looks like we still have a corn cob in here. That's almost gone. And that might be it. Fill back in there. Let me put that off to the side again. I think that's it. It was just that corn cob. I'm not seeing anything over here. Nice. Loose material, very dry compared to how my bins normally are, but it looks actually really good. The worms are moving through this. This is the cocoa choir material. That's why it looks like this, a nice and rich material. I find that it works really well as a bedding. Um, some worms in these corn cobs. It's probably the last of the food that's in here though, I think. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of bury this in here a little bit, and we're gonna get a lot of food out of this. We're gonna add a lot of food just like we did last time. I'm gonna to try to make sure that it's not being put on top of any worms, which is why I'm adding this bedding material to the top of it first, this dry bedding. And let me go grab some food to put in here. Okay, so I have my food here, and this is a good variety of food, primarily banana peels. And then we have more banana peels, of course. This is actually a mint uh, stem from a mint plant. Um, I then have some carrots, if I can get them out. These are all frozen, by the way, as you can tell. We've got some coffee grounds underneath these carrots. I don't think I'm going to be able to pull that out in one piece. And then underneath that, we've got a ton of watermelon chunks. I'm going to just turn this over. I'm going to break it out. As you can tell, it's all frozen, which is what I would do with all my food. I freeze all of it. I'm going to try to keep it here in the center. Try to keep it away from some of these worms. There's some right there. Break it apart a little bit here so we can kind of have it collapse down in here a little bit. So you can tell this is really, really frozen here. So it's going to break off some of these chunks. All right, that should be good. We're just going to move these around a little bit. There we go. Okay, now we still need to cover this. So I'm going to cover this with some of this material that's on the side here. And then actually I'm going to grab some fresh bedding material here. And I'm grabbing fresh for a couple reasons. One, watermelon has a lot of moisture to it, so there's gonna be a lot of moisture coming in here. Two, I want some fresh bedding to put on top with all the, uh, some of the stuff I'm putting on. Oh, there's that stem. Because I'm gonna to wanna to make sure that what, it, what I put on next really is on top here, pretty coated pretty well. So give me just a second here, as we still had the fruit fly issue, and we're gonna nip that in the bud with this. I can smell the mint leaves are, and some of the mint that was in there right now, which smells really good. So there we go. There's a bunch of new, new paper on top. Try to cover up all that food. There was quite a bit of it. And now, all right, before I do anything though, just so you know, I'm going to put on a, well, actually, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do here. I have something new that people have been telling me to use for a while now, and that is this Diatomascus earth, I think it's how you pronounce it. 
Um, it's food grade. I recommend always buying food grade if you can because this is going into something that's going to go into your ground. I don't think there's much difference between food grade and non-food grade, but this is what I'm going to put in here. And this is supposed to prevent uh, your, your fungus gnats and your fruit flies and everything. This is supposed to kind of... What, what I understand is that this is actually abrasive and kind of cracks their shells and makes it where they can't, uh, they dehydrate and die. So this is something I'll link to below in the, uh, in the comment section so you can find it on Amazon. That's where I ordered this from. It came with a little duster that I'll show you here in a minute. But I need to load it up and get ready to, sh to put this on my uh, bag system here. Now, when you're doing this, if you're doing this inside especially, I really recommend you wear something over your face because this stuff, even though it says it's earth and food grade and everything, it's probably not a good idea to breathe this into your lungs. So make sure you wear a mask. All right, so let me get this ready. I'll be right back. Okay, I've got my mask on and this is what this container looks like right here. It's a little squeeze container. Now you can put this on to direct it a little better, but I'm not filtering it. It says you use this only if you filter it through like a sieve of some sort to really make sure that it's uh, it's fine. But what we're gonna do here is this, this container has some in it, as you can see here. I think you can, but it's filled up to probably about right here, about this high. And you have it upside down like this. So it doesn't go this way, it goes upside down. And then you just kind of spray it on, okay? And I don't know if you can see some of the plumes coming out here. I don't know how much to really put on, so I'm going to put on quite a bit here. All right. That's probably good enough. I think I've covered most of this stuff here. It comes out quick. So I will say that. All right, now there is a dust cloud over here, but it's in there. So this will hopefully get rid of all these fruit flies. And as I said, you should be wearing a mask when you do this. I'm probably also going to bring over my vacuum with a HEPA filter and kind of suck all this stuff up and try to get it outside the, uh, out of the, the air. So that's my update. Please let me know what you think. And what you, if you've ever tried this, uh, this product to get rid of fruit flies, let me know if it worked for you. So thank you for watching. And I hope you enjoyed this video.